2009, you know, the first one was always special, but the way this all sort of happened, the pool we were in, who we played in the quarters, the semis, Leicester and Toulouse, and uh, people say you, lo you learn more from losing, but winning is definitely infectious. The experience that, that a lot of the younger guys have is, is really only success. This guy here, self-belief, is, you know, no one I've, I've ever, uh, ever played with has, has belief like it. I think it's more than an expectation, it's a demand. They just demand that, that they get in front and they work themselves hard enough to try to keep the edge to make sure that's where they stay. Guys were, I suppose, making up for a bit of lost time, I think. People don't remember that Sean had a broken leg the year before. Straussy as well, didn't play a lot of games. And it really showed the hunger that we had throughout the year. Probably the fear factor of Monday morning video sessions as well. <laughs> uh, I think that's harsh. It was harsh being on the end of it. That's all it's harsh. <laughs> Controlling the motion is, is actually it can sometimes be a, a difficult thing, especially when you're running out in front of 85 odd thousand people. And you know, Joe's often uh, spoken about is um, think about the process, and, and you'll ultimately get get your, your rewards. Although <laughs> maybe we should have a rethink about it. <laughs> 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 Everything that could go wrong seemed to go wrong. We almost couldn't buy a bit of luck in that first half. You know, we kept repeating ourselves. You know, we conceded one try, and we said, you know a few things and then we conceded another, we said the same thing. A little louder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then after the third one, I think everyone just showed up and said nothing. <laughs> I never suspected that we would ever give it up. That kick as well, the final kick just before Just coming time. off the post. Yeah, that made it just that little bit more attainable for us. And I think, I don't know, was there something in their mind going, they're still in it, they're still in it. Yeah, the halftime was so important for us. It was definitely a turning point. We needed it. Oh, yeah, I've heard Johnny tell that story a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> One more time there. Um, you know, a lot of people spoke in the changing room. I just remember his belief. He had complete faith that we were, we were capable of turning the game around. I believed you believed that we could come back. I think that's what other players thought. We've got a lot of good leaders in the team. I think that's key. And, as a player, you want to be remembered when you retire. Uh, you know, we have a chance here to, to do something really special. It was our chance, I suppose, to, to, to get into the history books. I don't think there was ever panic. We just felt really sure we could still get back into the game if we scored next. Jonathan Sexton, look at the determination. Someone who has played so well for you all season, who is in the most pivotal role in the team at 10, has a complete conviction that we can, we can turn this game around. That really spread throughout the team. When you keep working hard enough, you'll make a bit of your own luck. I, I really thought that, that the second half was, was very much the way that we played all season. A realisation of this game isn't over, we can, we can win it again. It was fantastic in the second half to see our scrum actually get a couple of penalties off them. The noise from the crowd was incredible. This was definitely my favourite moment from the day. You know, the subs were just behind warming up. And the look on their faces, they all ran in. And, um, that was a pretty good kick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the lucky yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You could almost enjoy the last sort of four or five minutes. Except, except that the coach took you off. Yeah. <laughs> Brought on a hooker for me. <laughs> the whistle goes to Leicester. Have got it. How do you top that with the pool that we had, the playoff matches that we had to combat, and then to come back from where we came back from? Yeah, that, that only ha happens in Disney movies. I was just trying not to cry this time, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got some slag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the last one. <laughs> Wanting that year on year is, is definitely a motivation. Everybody feels very privileged to go out there and represent Leinster. I think that's the cornerstone for any successful organisation.